Is she Hello, um, I'm not leading a ride, but I'll read it out there from the post if you haven't. Don't worry, we'll listen to you. Uh, yeah, so we're aiming to do one main effort. Uh, for those of you who know the blue anchor climb out of Pen Cloud, it's like between 7 and 10 minutes roughly. But uh, it goes up in steps, like it's a considerable step. So the first bit is quite steep, um, but it's only like a couple hundred meters, so you can get over that. Like with the first effort, we use that as like a bit of a a big opener. What have I put here? Uh, yeah, two to four hundred meters long. And then uh, there might be. We don't know whether the road splits or not. I don't think it does. But there's enough of us here that if we are kind of like. 10 meters apart, you know, we'll be able to follow the guy in front sort of thing. So, say for example, Anthony's the first over the top, Anthony knows where he's going, and I'm 10 meters off, I'll follow him, 10 meters back, follow him. If that's the case, I don't think it's, it's only one road, you're just going to keep going up. And, uh, is it the start of the tent? But the fork, yeah, but the yeah. forklift, uh, it's the pub. So, we treat then the, the little downhill as like a recovery, like you literally don't have to pedal pretty much. And then uh, use all your momentum, and when you come up to the next section, but the next section slightly longer, it's about a mile, um, not as steep as that first section. Uh, and that effort would be like an eight out of ten. And like I said in the in the section below it, like you you'll feel like you want to like rush into the effort because of the speed you'll carry into it. It's not necessarily the case though, because you might end up like going a bit too hard too early and then uh, not correctly <coughs> pacing it, but. If anything, you want to feel like you want to that last minute. You want to be empty in the tank. I know you don't know that you possibly don't know <coughs> know the climb, but just gauge it. If you look down your clock or something and you think three minutes have gone, just give it a bit of a dig for that last minute just to get over the top of it. And then we will regroup, regroup at the what's the pub at the top? Homefold. Homefold. Another day, another ride. Great ride, actually. Everyone did a really, really good job today. Like, I went out early, left the house at seven, did an hour before meeting the club. And uh, I'll put the efforts on the screen, the ones that I did. Pretty, uh, pretty decent, actually. Loads of quality. And then, um, and then when I met the club, we just like decided we'd go to this climb and it went up in two stages. First stage is about two, three hundred meters long and we hit that 10 out of 10, full gas. And then we rested for about two or three minutes on this kind of plateau and then flat out. Well, I say flat out. It's flat out for the length of time. So we like to kind of call that capacity. So what you're kind of capable of. So that, that section of the climb is like four minutes long, about a mile or so. And uh, yeah, we have to pace that one. Uh, and it kind of teaches riders how to gauge their effort. And particularly as the climb is so steep to start with, like you, you feel like you just want to rush into it and like hit it really hard. But in, in reality, you need to back off. And kind of like the whole analogy of unrolling a carpet comes to mind. And then, uh, yeah, just rolled around the goer and uh, we come back home. But I've done a total of three hours now. And like with yesterday, because yesterday I didn't ride. And I think that's something that you, you learn to kind of judge. You know, as a, as a full-time rider, full-time athlete. Like, when is it right to ride, when isn't it? And like when, when you have a travel day, I've learned that sometimes travel days like that, like three hours, well, six hours in total in a car, uh, you know, puts you in a bit of a scrunched up position. It's not ideal, so you kind of almost treat that as a training day, or at least your body responds to it in a different way. So you don't really want to be training or pushing on. Um, you might do an easy ride, but maybe not a training ride. So I took that day off yesterday, so I've, I've had like a fairly kind of, I guess, an easy week. I mean, yes, we did that race on Zwift on Tuesday, 
uh, Wednesday, sorry. I did uh, I did some turbo work on Thursday, but like I said, I took Friday off to go to no pins. And uh, this weekend, I'm kind of having like a big-ish weekend um, to not not make up for it, but just like get through, get some runs on the board, as Anthony says. But uh, yeah, I mean tomorrow is going to be much like today, but it's really just about getting out and building the hours up. Um, hopefully, I'll get a new bike next week. Hopefully, fingers, fingers crossed, fingers, toes, everything crossed, because this condo is going back uh, next next week, beginning of next week, I think. So, yeah, we'll be sad to say goodbye, but it's a new era, a new time, new bike, new kit, hopefully, which will also be really good. Just follow along and you'll find out. So, yeah, I hope you've had a really good Saturday, Sunday, if you're watching this Sunday. I hope you've had a really good day and I hope you manage to get on the bike too.